This is one of my favorite apartments called the Margot. The apartment has a wraparound balcony that is one of the best balconies I've ever seen. When you go out the other way, there's even a dining table where you can dine on a sunny night or a warm night, and it extends all the way to the back. This is the living room. We got the basics right, where the layout is just wonderful. It's really comfortable. People who, who stay here love it. These sofas are from Italy, very well made. It's extremely comfortable to sit on, but nicest of all is a trundle bed that pulls out at night for extra sleeping. But I, I love these little pictures here, which are old photographs from the turn of the century. In 1910, Paris had an amazing flood which went up to the, the first floor, well, the ground floor of the entire city. And so this is a picture of an old man and an old lady in a boat uh, going down Rue du Bac, just someone ballerina shoes. So here's the dining room, which can seat up to eight people. And then we head through to the office area uh, where we found this Versailles style desk uh, where you could sit and work. And an, this has an old art deco window in it. Uh, that's in etched glass. This kitchen opens onto the balcony. So imagine in the summertime when you're cooking and the balcony doors are open and the sun sets, it's magic. And we did it in a French provincial style and I found these old tin letters that say cuisine. Um, just love the touch, the zinc table, zinc tuck table, which is very bistro-like. And country style cabinets with lights inside so you can see the dishes. Come with me onto the balcony. Here we are on the balcony just outside the kitchen. What more could you ask for? Voila, la grande dame. Come with me and see the rest of the flat. Brilliantly laid out. We turned this, there was only one bathroom and one toilet. We turned half of the kitchen into a full bathroom with a toilet, which is very rare in Paris to have two in an apartment. This was the kitchen. The owners turned it into a really comfortable den TV room with a huge TV. We put in stair lights along the hallway so that at night you could see your way if you have to get up and go in the kitchen to go to the restroom. Each bedroom tells a different story. This one is done in blues and whites and you can, you can recognize the, the pots outside from the wraparound balcony. As much as possible, we have every kind of electrical appliance. This is such compelling value compared to any hotel in the world. Here's the second bedroom with cute little pictures uh, from the turn of the century of the Beaumarché, little kids playing jokes on each other. Uh, and here is the master bedroom, which has an extra wide queen size bed. This was the original bathroom, but we made quite a few improvements. We found beautiful tile that looks a bit like leather from Italy and then mosaics, and just did a very subtle line of mosaics. And at the top, where the tiles end, we painted it the exact same color, so that it just adds this warm, complete look to it. We also built a walk-in shower, which is what most of our guests love. You actually have a view of the Eiffel Tower from the bathroom. So normally, what would you do if this is the sink and you're getting ready in the mornings? You'd cover up this window. You'd block it forever. The carpenter, was very clever and he came up with a system. It closes against the windows. And this is really the piece de resistance because you lay in bed at night and what's your view? The Grande Dame de Paris. The curtains are uh, gorgeous, silk, but you don't want to close the curtains because you just want to watch this view till 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs>